It has been terrifying living in this world as a Black mother of a Black son and a Black daughter. When George Floyd called for his mother, that struck a fire for us, because that primal connection between a child and mother is one that supersedes all connections. As a physician right now receiving praise, especially in during this COVID pandemic, it feels like living a double life. We felt that our hands were tied. We could not leave our offices and leave our hospitals to go participate in a protest. So we felt like we had to do something. We are McStuffin Mommies. We are, we are a collective of nearly 1,200 women physicians of color. 1,200 women physicians of color who are also mothers. Daily, we leave our homes and tend to minds, bodies, and souls to heal them and make them better, regardless of color. With a smile, we perform physicals on tow-headed boys who look like Dylan Roof, then come home and wince in fear when our sweet little boys smile with that small gap in the front, like Ahmaud Aubrey. Cheerfully, we snap broken bones of men with a sprinkling of gray hair like Derek Chauvin, then anxiously hold our breaths when our husbands stand tall in dapper black suits and leave our homes like George Floyd. We hold the hands and deliver the babies of precious young women like Amy Cooper, then admonish our sons to never leave the house alone and always have a witness when speaking to strange women who do not look like us, their sisters, or their grandmothers. Anxiously, we teach our curly-haired boys that if those women raise an alarm to keep their hands up, eyes down, voices low when speaking to those they may summon. With determined efficiency, we restart the hearts of obese, red-haired men like Travis McMichael. Then feel our stomach twisted knots when our daughters complete their applications for EMT training, like Brianna Taylor. We remain committed to our oath to provide the best medical care possible to every patient that crosses our paths. Regardless of their station in life, their religious affiliation, their color, we do this while we look at our beautiful brown children with the crushing reality that this world will never afford them that same level of equanimity and grace. For eight minutes and 46 seconds we saw, but most of all, we heard. We heard 114 words. Two that pierced our souls. Two cries for mama. We heard our boys. We heard our girls. We heard in that moment that no matter how many lives we may save, there are so many others willing to take the lives we made. Make a promise to us, America. You think you say hi? We made a promise to care for your children make a promise to us to do better by our children allow us to breathe <laughs>